Oh no. Greetings, Rigio Agatides here. I hope you all found your way to survive this tier meta now, because sadly I don't think Asatics have any hope doing so. Being bad against fusions isn't anything new to the deck, but an opponent with an almost infinite grind game and pseudo immunity to destruction effects means we have no effective way to stop them at all, and all we have is 1 mega bitters that sometimes work. The new banlist is also probably the worst banlist I have ever seen in Master Duel, sacrificing a lot of other casual decks while pretty much doing nothing to the problem meta deck. Negative notes aside, with how monotone the current meta is, it is not hard to side cards against tier elements only. Stun cards, particularly continuous ones that target dark monsters or the graveyard in general, is very useful. Necro Valley and Soul Drain are two really good cards for any deck that can run them, by completely shutting down the graveyards. If you are really desperate, there are also two gravekeeper cards to search Necro Valley, so you can have up to 10 copies in your deck. There's also non-fusion area if you aren't afraid of anything but fusion decks. As for what I am using, I stumbled upon a meme deck that I used once, and unbelievably it is time for it to shine. Flower Cardians had been the laughing stock of the entire franchise. They were definitely one of the worst decks in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh, being inconsistent in doing a whole bunch of nothing. This changed, however, when they got a wave of incredible, incredible support. Cherry Blossom gave the deck a desperately needed normal summon while also being a way to gain card advantage. Moonflower Viewing in the extra deck was a good failsafe, providing a method to restart combos. But the most insane card of them all was Super Koi Koi. While it doesn't guarantee to summon 3 Flower Cardians, most of the time it can summon at least 2 of them as level 2 monsters. With no restrictions after using the spell, unlike Flower Gathering, means Super Koi Koi can be a 1 card format Zeus. While Zeus is not the appropriate answer against the current meta, 1 card in the Flower Cardian arsenal definitely is. Flower Cardian Board Flies effect prohibits the opponent from activating card effects in the graveyard. While not being a continuous effect, it is the most annoying of all. A lingering effect. After using the effect, if it wasn't negated by something like an effect Veiler, the opponent is locked out of the graveyard until your next turn no matter what. As you would imagine, this is absolutely detrimental to tier elements. They have no ways to fusion summon. They could not search anything by pitching cards to the grave, so their only real answer is to prepare for a mill the next standby phase before a board fly can activate again. Would I recommend using flower guardians? No. You will still need to win the coin toss, and they will still break occasionally, and trying to draw the opponent out of cards when you get max seed isn't a practical answer. It is, however, very much possible to win. In fact, if you're good at it, you can probably win most of the time. But it would take at least 10 minutes to do so every time. Whether it is your thing or not, it's up to you, I guess. As for Asartix, perhaps it's time for the bears to rest for a while. It is simply not their time for now, but when the Kashtiras arrive, oh boy, we will be putting up a fight. Speaking of which, the new event, Attribute 4, is coming. Guess who was not touched in any way once again? There's still a while until the event, so for now, let's just enjoy playing a different card game for a while. Okay, one more deal before I call it a day. I hope I can actually show off how board fly is good against tier elements, but eight duels today? Haven't done that once. Let's normal summon pine and see if we trigger any hand traps. 24 hours later. Oh no. And uh, we'll go on. Leave them with 5 monsters on the field that don't do anything and 1 monster negate. Good news is we do have plenty of fuel to start the next turn. We can't do anything without a tuner, so... Okay, it is tier elements. Why do I never get to just go into board fly? Abyss Dweller, we don't give a damn. Battlefield, you can't even clear off 
all my flower guardian monsters. You attack them to pine, I will take my draw. It hurts a little bit, but this is fine. Can we get into an Avramax quick enough? I think our opponent will be able to stop us on the way. Willow again. How many cards do we have that can we can whiff? We have only one more Ash and two Core Buys and one Recardination. But our deck only has 16 cards, so that's around a quarter of the chance. We'll go ahead and fire off Cherry Blossom. This will not lock us out of the extra deck. I mean, lock us from other monsters other than Flower Guardians. Special Summon Designated Monster from the deck, yes. We have ran out of Willows. They have dodged every anima point zones, so that's wise from them. We'll go into Super Koi Koi before we lock ourselves out of everything. Actually, we should have gone for our Curtain first, but... Orku, Orku. Hits the Ash. That's one less brick in our deck. What if we... We can go into Jin Buster already, and that will lock them out from any monster effects, so that is great. We'll go into Jin Buster. We'll put Jin Buster at the side so that we can still link summon if we want to. Which we can. Just by the way. <laughs> we'll use Curtain. Does not whiff. And then we'll go into a Mascarina first, I guess. Do we go into Unicorn? Or do we go into... Can we go into Gloomy first? I want to go into Avramax. Avramax is a cool core here. Oh, I forgot Medora is a thing. What else do they have that shuffles? They still have Keldo. We'll see what happens then. After the second recardination. This... Fires off as empty. Oh, crap. Oh, they just target my P, not Gin Buster. That's fine. There's no way we can get into Avramax anymore. We'll just go and lock ourselves out of the extra deck for other funny stuff. Negates Willow. Sense Merly. That will fusion, and we will negate that with Gin Buster. If they have a Havenis here, then we are in a bit of trouble, but I don't think he does. If he has a Suliac here, this will probably when he fires it. We'll board fly banish a zebra grass. It is a meta noise that only changes it to face down position. That is actually fine. But now that he's out of the extra deck, we can go into recardination. That's too late to send. Wait, do we have any tuners left? Curtain works. We summon Polonia first, and then summon Deer, and see what we draw. We can get rid of the field spell. Calligrapher is a good tuner. Sadly, we don't have anything to summon it off. Let's just use Curtain's second effect to crash. Yeah, I don't think they can do anything under board fly. 
our super koi koi in the grave is live and we could just flip our board fly face up again. 